Welcome back to another video. So this is the tuning setup for the MG um, in the touring cars. Now this isn't going to be the best tuning setup ever out there, but it works for me. So I figured if it works for me, it might work for y'all. Um, so I thought I'd share this with you and let you have a go through it. Now, if you, like I said, this works for me, feel free to change it so it works for you. Um, and I just kind of tweaked things until it felt right. Um, I'm not a big person when it comes to racing. As everyone knows with my channel, my, my background is drifting and only drifting. Um, but for me to get some lap times on this, it's actually pretty impressive. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm beating all my times in the Audi to what I am in this. So, um, I can't really complain that much. Now, when it comes to the brakes, um, I recommend having your braking pressure at 120 to 130% if you use ABS. If you don't use ABS, then give this a whirl. Um, but like I said, it's one of them what works for me. Um, I'll show you my assists, what I have on. So that's the assist I use. Then let's check the fuels and tyres. So soft. These tyres are dead after two laps, so we're only going to be doing two laps in qualifying. So let's get to it. I always bottle it on that corner. Now my goal, my goal when it comes to racing is to beat the time, what it says on your fuels and tires. Because as you saw on there, it said it can do a 57, uh, one minute 57. So my goal is just to beat that time. Anything above that is an absolute bonus to me. That's all I'm going for. So let's get into it. If you use traction control, um, you can go down into first gear on most of these corners. Um, the only reason I stay in second and don't downshift is because I don't use traction control and it will spin like hell without traction control. Um, so I find I'm quicker just staying in second instead of going down to first. Got a nice 152.5. Let's see if we can beat that. Mess that corner up.
I don't think I'm going to beat that time. I always bottle it on that corner. And that one. Oh, we've got a nice 152 by 43. But I am happy with that because I beat the lap time where it says it can get in the fuels and tires. So I'm happy. So at this moment, I am sitting second place, but I shall be back when the race starts. It looks like we've kept second place. So what I'm doing on this is I'm doing a hard tire strap, which is um, either going hard mediums or hard than softs. And the reason for that is because medium tires were at 16% per lap and hard tires is around 12%. Uh, 12 11% per lap, so you can get one or two more laps out of hard than what you can with mediums. Then, if you can get one or two, if you can get two more laps out on hards, then you can switch to softs when you pit. Um, but the tire wear on this, once it hits 60%, you've lost all grip. Was that with the Aldi? It was 75%. On these, it's 60%. And medium tyres wouldn't last the full four laps. This is an eight lap race, so you put halfway through. And mediums won't last that full four laps with grip. So I'm playing it safe and going hards. Then I've got hards, then softs, or hards, then mediums. We'll see what happens. I kind of had a feeling he was going to do that. So I went wide. I know they're going to have grip on me because they're on mediums, so they are going to have the grip. I think I've got the acceleration. Oh fuck, overshot, overshot, overshot. Ah, overshot. Oh well, I messed that race up. <laughs> Let's see if we can claw his way back. If we can finish anything higher than what we're in now, it's a win. But this is what I'm like when it comes to racing. I'm not perfect. I really am not. And I make so many stupid little mistakes. But it is what it is. That mistake cost me four and a half seconds. Holy shit. Let's see if we can make that time up. See, most people, when they're doing a tuning setup video and showing a tune off, they just scrap this video and wait till they get a good race. But fuck that. I'd rather see what this tune can do and can't do then just show you at its best.
That's how you're supposed to take that corner. <laughs> I know there's a lot of corners you can pull it cut to get quicker lap times, but I think it's a race on the track, not race on the dirt. That's why I don't do it. And in my personal opinion, people want to cut corners on the dirt and don't get a penalty just to get a quicker lap time are scumbags, in my opinion. Because you don't see that in any other race. Yes, people like go on to the bumpers and stuff like that, like this. But what I'm on about is people cut corners, so the entire car, like this right hand corner here, for example, the entire right hand side of the car is off track, and the only thing that's on the track is the left tyres. There's a lot of corners where you can cut like that and not get a penalty, and it does shave a lot of time off your lap. In my opinion, you shouldn't do that because that's a dirty, dirty scumbag move, in my opinion. But each to their own. I shouldn't have done that overtake. That was a scumbag move. But to say I'm catching these on hard, I'm happy with that. Well, yeah, the, the MG and the Peugeot is a new OP car. I don't care what anyone says. The MG and the Peugeot is the new Golf because I don't know if a lot of people know about the Golf or not. When the game first came out for the VIP people on the 5th of October, um, it was seriously, the Golf was seriously overpowered. And I mean, like, it was unbeatable. The Golf was that good. Um, and people mourned and got nerfed and got, it's been nerfed twice now. But this MG and the Peugeot, is probably more OP than what the Golf ever was, in my opinion, because it's got the it's got the handling, sorry, it's got the acceleration and the brakes, ha acceleration and the brakes of the Golf, and it's got the handling and top speed of the Audi, which makes both these cars an absolute fucking monster. And with the Peugeot, I think the stats are incorrect on the Peugeot because the Peugeot is leveled as a 2.8 speed. Realistically, I think it's a 3.2 because it can do 166 mile an hour, same as this car. But I think the Peugeot is seriously broken.
Turn the gear down there. Yeah, I'm going to pay and go on to mediums. I was kind of hoping to get one more lap out so I could go soft. But I know that him on first place is in mediums because he's losing time now. He's, he's completely lost grip. I always miss this entrance on pits. Let's see if we can catch this person. I don't think I am going to catch him, but I'm going to try. I think they're in the link, so if they are, they might have gone soft. And if they have, I'm probably not going to catch them. But after that start, I'm going to be happy with third, uh, with second place after that start. Dropping all the way down to seventh. Were it seventh or were it sixth? I dropped down to a part of now. But dropping all them places and getting back to second. Personally, I think if I hadn't dropped all them places, I probably would have been first. Because I caught up so much time. All right, look at that. At least I would have been battling for first anyway. Oh fuck. Oh, I messed that corner up again.
Really, I'm doing bad. Kind of mental that I can't beat the lap time I got on hards on mediums. <laughs> It just shows how much power this car has got. Final lap. Well, this is why I said this is the, the MG and the Peugeot is the most OP car in the game because I cannot race to save my life. I, I am truly, I'm bad at racing. And I've got a 12 second lead on third place. So this car in the hands of someone who actually can race, it is extremely dangerous. Oh yeah, that is the tune for the MG. Hope everyone likes it, but this car is just so OP. It is unbelievably OP. Like I said, you saw me you saw me take that massive off on the first lap. And I dropped all the way down to sixth or seventh. Then I've clawed myself all the way back to second place. This car is just OP. If I were in the Aldi or the Link, I wouldn't have been able to do that. But yeah, that is... Um, that's the MG tune. Hope you like it.